Gaza. Israel has promised to provide proof to back up its claim Hamas was using Gaza's largest hospital as a command center. In southern Gaza, Israeli forces have started dropping leaflets in the Khan Yunus area, warning people to evacuate their homes and head to shelters for their own safety. Similar leaflets were also dropped over northern Gaza weeks before the ground offensive, suggesting imminent military operations may be planned for the south of the country. Well, let's get the very latest now from my colleague Mark Lowen, who is in southern Israel for us. Mark. Marion, thank you very much indeed. Well, we were going to actually uh, be uh, live with you in that headline sequence, but we had to dash because there was a rocket that was just fired uh, just above our heads and intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome anti-missile system. And there was a siren that went out, so we just had to take cover there. I'm not sure if you can see, but in the distance, the l very large plume of smoke there where an airstrike uh, has recently hit, um, a sign of just uh, how constant the threats are here. Uh, as this uh, conflict uh, reaches almost six weeks. Well, meanwhile, uh, the uh, Israeli Defense Forces continue their operation inside Al Shifa Hospital, uh, Gaza's largest hospital, and Israel has promised to provide proof of what they say is Hamas's command center there. Hamas has consistently denied the allegations of the Israeli military. Uh, President Biden, meanwhile, has said that the uh, US has urged Israel to act, in his words, with incredible care as Israel's military operation at Al Shifa continues. One thing has been established is that Hamas does have headquarters, weapons, materiel below this hospital, and I suspect others. Well, our correspondent Lucy Williamson was taken inside Al Shifa hospital by the Israeli Defense Forces. A little earlier, she joined us from Jerusalem. Israel is really coming under pressure to prove why it carried out the operation it's carrying out in Gaza. And driving into Gaza last night, it was clear just the scale of its military operation there. Parts of the city looked as if it had been hit by an earthquake, buildings completely decimated, roads churned up, rows of tanks moving through the streets. Um, so I think the scale of the operation is clear, but also Israel's desire to try and show the world why it's doing what it's doing. It's still very tense. Uh, they took us right into the heart of Gaza City, into Al Shifa Hospital that's been the scene, at least the streets around it have been the scene of some of the fiercest fighting over the past few days. Uh, we had to go in in darkness through a hole in one of the perimeter walls and we were taken um, to one specific department, the MRI department in the hospital. We weren't allowed to talk to other people, not to doctors, not to patients. We were shown uh, the, the items that the IDF said they had found there, hidden amongst the medical equipment. But as you say, the, um, the, real, uh, the real proof that uh, Israel is under such global scrutiny for is to provide evidence of this network of tunnels beneath the hospital. That's something they haven't found yet, but they did say that it's very early days. There's a lot of the hospital still to search. and. Both both they and the US intelligence community believe those tunnels are there. We're in an Israeli military vehicle inside the Gaza Strip now. They're taking us towards Gaza City. This area, we're passing through an area where the ground operation first began weeks ago now. And since then, the Israeli army has fought its way methodically towards Gaza City towards the gates of the Shifa hospital, and that's where they're taking us now. We're still being told to keep our lights off. Are we going this way? Well, the Israeli army has been really searching through this hospital, and you can see they've had to force the door of the MRI room here to get inside. They've been looking for evidence of this being a Hamas base, a place where Hamas planned attacks and they say that among the things they've uncovered are more than a dozen Kalashnikovs, grenades, personal protective equipment, some of it with the, the Hamas military brigade insignia on it. You can see some of them here hidden under these bags of medical supplies. We're also told that there have been laptops found with some information about the hostages. They also found some recent files that suggest this may have been a Hamas operating base as recently as a few days ago. 
Well, there's been a lot of pressure on Israel for the humanitarian cost of its operation in Gaza, not least inside the Shifa hospital, where doctors say they're struggling to keep alive dozens of vulnerable newborn babies without enough electricity, food or water. But now that Israel does have control of the hospital and is carrying out the searches, it's also under pressure to prove, to give some evidence about why it's actually there. Lucy Williamson with a rare glimpse inside Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza there. Well, on this side of the border, the Israeli police say that they have killed three suspects involved in an attack on a checkpoint in Jerusalem. At least four people were shot, including one who was critically injured. Two others suffered light injuries. The police said all the injured were members of the security services.